Thankfully, an attack was prevented, but shocking new details are now emerging after Taylor Swift had to cancel three of her Austrian tour dates. These details are terrifying. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And yes, details are emerging regarding these terrorist attacks that nearly happened in Vienna, Austria. Fans are now uh, uniting out in Vienna to share bracelets and gather Mourn the fact that they didn't get to see the show, but celebrate the fact that they didn't lose their lives, which nearly happened after two teenage suspects were arrested over a plot to attack Taylor Swift concert in Vienna. They planned to drive a boom filled car into the crowds outside the venue and were attempting to K as many people as possible. The main suspect was a 19 year old Austrian citizen who pledged their allegiance to this Type of group. Got to be careful my keywords, guys, here, or it just doesn't get shared. Uh, head of public safety in Austria said during a press conference, the suspect confessed to the plans shortly after being arrested. Suspect had planned, along with a 17-year-old accomplice, to use booms and to uh, K attendees during Swift's three-night run in Ernst Happel sta uh, Stadium at the Austrian capital. More than 200,000 fans were expected to attend the concerts over Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, with tens of thousands expected to gather outside the venue, organizers said. We have a lot more details now. I've, I've checked at press time. Taylor has still not yet said a statement. I'm just checking to see. Nope, she hasn't yet, and I'm sure she will. The plan is to go. Show must go on. She is now planning to move to London despite this terrifying plot. And it's just even more crazy because this is literally one of her greatest fears. Uh, she's terrified that something like this could happen after Ariana Grande's Manchester concert. She talked about this in a statement a while back saying one of her greatest fears was how do you, how do you protect this, this crowd, your, your audience? I was completely terrified to go on tour because I didn't know how we were going to keep 3 million fans safe over seven months. There was a tremendous amount of planning expense and effort put into keeping my fans safe. Look, that's one thing people can knock Taylor all they want, but one thing she can do besides write songs, she's one of the most talented songwriters out there. Uh, she always is out there looking out for her fans. She really is. Uh, and so as these details have now emerged, it is just truly shocking and leaving many people just in disbelief that this got so far. Australian th authorities have released more details explaining that a 15 year old who was detained claim these are how young these kids were claims that a 19 year old asked him to secure an ignition device unclear if he did there's also further clarification on some of the chemicals found in the 19 year old's home cops saying they found a barrel of hydrogen peroxide used in makeshift booms he allegedly downloaded uh, boom making instructions further evidence that this was an amateur attempt they said the whole of europe's on high alert with concern that this is uh, using austria as an operational area more details are emerging uh, in the lead up. CNN reported that the 19 year old uh, quit his job back in July and changed his appearance, telling people around him he had something big planned. Cops found 21,000 euros of counterfeit cash and a blue police light for his car to get better access to the arena's periphery. CNN says he also planned to K himself during the or after the standoff with police or the booms. 17 year old suspect broke up with his girlfriend recently, possibly a trigger that sent him down the path. CNN reports the 15-year-old who was detained must, uh, may have just known about the plot and may have played an active part or may not have played an active part in planning. That's the theory. This 15-year-old did come clean and fessed up what was happening and thankfully saved all these people's lives. But what's so wild is, yeah, apparently one of them was also uh, just got a job at the venue, was planning to be working at the venue. Um one suspect employed by the venue just days before the singer came to town. 17-year-old suspect behind the near disaster got a job at the Ernst Happel Stadium in the days leading up to her show, seemingly to have a better position himself and his accomplice for their, you know, planned activities. He was arrested outside the venue. Authorities executed a search warrant at the home of one of the suspects and found substances, technical devices to make that boom. Although authorities didn't say it, it appears the device could have been detonated by the 17-year-old who would have been working inside the venue. Gets even more terrifying. Authors, authorities now say this would have been a multi-pronged activity. One of them allegedly planning to drive that vehicle into the crowd outside. Taylor typically has fans outside listening who can't get in and immediately therefore 
uh, thereafter a boom would have been detonated. Cops also arrested a 19-year-old, detained a 15-year-old, claiming the three. Now, we, we that's as I explained, the 15-year-old is likely the one who fessed up. Now, this is the alleged suspect. They've blurred his face, but you can see here uh, he was uh, circulating for Armenia, showing him with machetes. He reportedly planned to use those uh, during it. General Director for Public Safety, Franz uh, Roof, said the suspect showed concrete preparatory actions in the lead up, and it's no surprise authorities are calling this a serious plot. Oh, man. Uh, they feel confident. They've minimized the threat, at, uh, but the shows were canceled anyway because of the abstract threat. Austrian, uh, Austrian officials claim their main suspect, the 19 year old, has fully confessed to the plans uh, and uh, suspect he felt morally right to K. Authorities say all three suspects were radicalized online in the last month. This is terrifying, man. Now all the people have received uh, their refunds, but I'm sure some of them didn't because a lot of people buy these scalp tickets off of these tours, pay thousands of dollars, and we're seeing those reports coming in as so many fans are uh, so just in just disbelief. Um, City Church welcomed Swifties to console themselves. Uh, concert goers were out there singing Taylor Swift songs. Dear Swifties, we feel you. You can sing your heart out here. Um, other comments coming in. I've been looking forward sitting in Vienna hotel room, processing the fact that Taylor Swift concert I've been looking forward to every year that I flew halfway around the world for has just been canceled. Uh, large crowds and people celebrating with friendship bracelets, trying to make the best of it. But man, I, look at one point you gotta be sort of happy, right? Well, my goodness, thank God we're all safe. The other party has got to be like, my God, I I've been investing so much time and, excitement to book for these tours because this tour is like nothing else for some people. This is like that once in a lifetime thing that you've spent thousands of dollars to travel and get to. I can't imagine how tough this is for everybody involved, Taylor, especially while they're granting out refunds. A lot of people aren't going to get them the same time. I guess you got to be happy you survived and that the safety was caught in time. Thank goodness. But it's just a mess all around. And it's just got to be scary to move forward and just keep going, which the reports are saying she's planning to do. The show must go on in London despite all this. She's ready to light up Wembley Stadium. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to have even more heightened security than usual. She's got the money to beef up that security. And uh, they will be, I'm sure, in top force to make sure that everybody working there, everybody involved is where they're supposed to be. But yeah, this is just scary, man. This is incredibly scary, and it shouldn't be this way. What, what does a Taylor Swift concert have to do with your motivations? It's just so sad. At the same time where it's such, so many wars are going on, so many fights for beliefs and things I can't even process. But what's so scary is when we don't try to help some of these people, this is what happens. They are raised to think we are the enemy or certain other countries are the enemy. And that's what's so terrifying about this outcome. A lot of people just want us to be at war for their own sick and disgusted monetary reasons. I just, it's never, it's never good. And it's just so sad to see this kind of thing happen. Oh, I feel for everybody involved and, 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 and so sad that these kids, these were kids. One was 19 granted, but the 15, 17 year old all being sucked into this weird, oh, it is, it is scary. It is terrifying. And I send love out to all the Swifties out there who have now thankfully not had to deal with this. And hopefully now we will be able to use this opportunity to make sure we are even more on top of it. Thank goodness the people who figured this out. And apparently to the one person who came forward, if you ever suspect anything, or if someone's trying to make you do anything like this, please do the right thing and don't allow it to happen. Tell somebody, get the word out, protect these people. Thank goodness this was saved, but my goodness, how terrifying. At the same time, bravo to Taylor to keep on going. We cannot let terrorists win. We got to move on. And and as she said in that in that quote as well, it's incredibly imperative how to remember how positive the world can be, how much love is out there. As she said, uh, she didn't want this to be the end of things. We have to live bravely in order to truly feel alive. And that means not being ruled by our greatest fears. You got to remind yourself of the good in the world and the love uh, you've, she's witnessed and the faith she has in humanity. 
spot on. I hope we can continue to move forward. Let's keep everyone safe. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the show. But to everybody who missed it, my heart goes out to you. And thank goodness we found it in time. And we'll keep you posted as to when Taylor makes a comment. If you want to be in the loop on this story and so much more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for alerts, smash that thumbs up as well, and leave your comments down below. Appreciate you guys so much. We are going to try to do a quicker live later today. It'll probably be soon. I hope to see you guys there. Thanks again for watching here on Popcorn Planet. <laughs>